it's the time of year for parties and unfortunately holiday related injuries sometimes. With us now, Sheila Dolbo, Trauma Nurse Coordinator, St. David's Round Rock Medical Center. So glad you could uh, spend a little time with us this noon hour. Thank you for having me. Uh, first question to make things timely, are you getting busier? Very much so. Really? There's a lot of people out traveling, uh, people are putting up Christmas decorations, mm -hmm. so a lot of things are happening right now. Where do we start with this? You're right about the Christmas decorations, but a lot of people are in their kitchens and will be in the, over the next couple of days and maybe they're thinking about family or they're distracted by family that's in town from somewhere else and you know the turkey falls on the kitchen floor any number of things what have you seen come into the ER? In, during this time of year we always see a greater increase in foodborne illness mm -hmm. and a lot of that has to do with preparation and the handling of foods mm -hmm. and people just doing things improperly so things that they need to remember is that you need to wash your hands with warm soapy water mm -hmm. after you've handled things like your uncooked meats sounds simple and everything it is it is but it's those little things that people tend to forget um, you also need to wash your countertops off or any surfaces that you use to prepare those foods mm -hmm. um, before you go start preparing foods that will be uncooked and consumed mm -hmm. um, so that's that's one of the most important things that you can do. Um, also, making sure that your meats are cooked properly. Mm -hmm. Your meats need to be cooked to 165 degrees, right. and the best way to check that is with a meat thermometer, and you need to do that in the most inner parts of the meat, so in the thickest part of the turkey breast or um, the inner part of the thigh. It's funny, it sounds a bit like a cooking segment, doesn't it? But I mean, <laughs> you don't want to see folks with all kinds of uh, foodborne illnesses coming to the ER with, with pains and putting in themselves probably in, in jeopardy for even days at a time. Well, it does, and it, it can cause uh, increased uh, missing of work. Hmm. Um, kids can miss school next week when it's time to go back. So these things can last for several days. Mm -hmm. So it's just real important to handle your food properly. What else you've seen coming to the ER? I mean, you know, here in our business, we listen to the uh, the emergency scanners and we hear a lot of things from emergency services about fall injuries. People up on the roof putting up lights and, you know, I mean, can that be avoided? It can be avoided. Um, when you're putting up holiday decorations, because this is the time of year that people mm -hmm. start hanging Christmas lights outside right. their home. So they're up on the roof or they're on on ladders um, and things like that or they're going up into their attic to just get their decorations down right. so people need to just be aware of if you're up in your attic make sure of where you're stepping that you're mm. on good surface so That's that true. you don't fall through you know I always tell friends and, and my wife frankly slow down 10% on this you know and it's gonna maybe save an injury and a little bit of um, going through life where you're not thinking as, clear, as clearly as you right. might you know yeah. let's talk quickly about uh, little kids too You've got maybe little kids in the house, they're visiting, you know, and maybe your house isn't child-proofed as much, and you see a lot of kids come in, I'll bet. Exactly. It's real important for parents to remember when they're visiting family and friends that not every child has, uh, not every home has small children in it, yeah. so not every home is child-proof. So when they go to these homes, they need to they need to be aware of potential dangers to their young children mm -hmm. and keep an eye on them. Um, when you're decorating in your own home and you have small children, you need to be aware of decorations that are within the reach of a small child and even a small pet that may like to chew on things oh, yeah. because little pieces can break off and they can present a choking hazard to these small children and small pets so mm. those things need to be considered also plants there are a lot of plants that are toxic and people oh, do not right. take that into consideration mm. when they're buying holiday plants and so a lot of them are toxic to to humans and to pets and so you want to make sure that those are out of reach what do you know about poinsettias are they are they a problem because I, I we hear it every year whether it's a rumor or not I'm not uh, sure you, it, the holly the um, the rhododendron and those type of things Things mm -hmm. can be very toxic so those are ones that you definitely want to mm -hmm. avoid uh, be very careful with um, poinsettias I'm not a hundred percent certain yeah on we'll get on Google and look that up just to confirm I mean it's one of those things that comes up every holiday season for sure Sheila Dobo your trauma nurse coordinator at uh, st. David's Round Rock Medical Center thank yes. you for stopping in it's just just a good reminder for people this holiday season thank you nice to talk to you <laughs>